pornography, dissemination of pornography. Those are the charges against a local priest accused of having pictures and videos of children. Tonight, those allegations are rocking a church community in Mascuda. And there was more found in the priest's possession. Those discoveries made inside the church and school where he worked. Vinton Blandon is live there outside the Holy Childhood of Jesus Parish. Vinny, police got a tip to this online. They did get this tip, Courtney and Stephen. Right now, this parking lot is empty, but a short time ago, several cars were here. We tried talking to the people in the cars, but they had nothing to say about Reverend Gerald Heckenberger. But we did speak with people who live in this community, and they have a few words for the priest. Lifelong Mascuda resident Andrea Sisson calls the allegations against Reverend Gerald Heckenberger sad. There's a rotten apple in every bunch and that shouldn't discredit the church or anyone else because of one person making a mistake. She knows the Catholic priest is innocent until proven guilty, so is all for letting the legal process against him play out. It doesn't deter me from knowing anyone from there or um, them doing good in the community because, like I said, one man can't ruin and bring a community down. Belleville police arrested the Holy Childhood Church and school's associate pastor Tuesday. He faces eight counts of dissemination of child porn and eight counts of possession of porn. Investigators say one of those possession charges relates to video. Several years ago, Heckenberger let it be known he was struggling with depression. Tom Marty, a parent and coach in this community, wonders if Heckenberger's background was checked. The Reverend was there for six years, and over, over a period of six years, you think that something would have been dictated, notated, and addressed prior to him coming to this church in our community. Police say they also found meth and drug paraphernalia in Heckenberger's home. Marty says that really raises major red flags. I find that disheartening. News 4 did reach out to the Catholic Diocese of Belleville, and the diocese released a statement saying only that they don't believe any parishioners were affected by this, and they give their full cooperation with this. Now, we tried to find out if the priest is still employed. At this time, that's unclear. YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes out of Illinois, and so no, y'all don't have to get worried. It's not Chicago this time. It's a little town, or uh, however the size of this name, Mascuda. A lot of you all might know what that said. But anyway, we have a funk ass preacher who basically is caught up in pedophilia and messing with little boys in the church. Now this is not something that's out of the ordinary because we've been hearing stories about these preachers, but for some reason it's always the Catholic preachers mostly doing it now true you got a lot of baptists getting their groove on you got a lot of methodists getting their groove on they freak on and uh pentecostal you know everybody got a little sin in their church somewhere but most of the time when we hear these stories about these child abuse for us teen boys it's mostly catholic and no offense to the catholic people because you got good and bad people in every religion it's a must you break it down and explain to the people like that because they will try to make you out to be a bigot toward one religion or one uh, denomination over the next one but i'm gonna read a snippet from this story and i will give my opinion surely as we go metro east catholic priest charging child porn case after cyber tip to police all that searching on the internet for these young boys and you got all these women running down the street trying to give away that ass now mascuda a Metro East Catholic priest was charged Tuesday with 16 felony child porn charges along God damn, excuse me. And anyway, along with a count of meth possession, the Reverend Gerald R. Heckenberger, sound like an old freak on a low low, is an associate pastor of Holy, hold on now, you're going to get this name right here now, of Holy Childhood of Jesus Parish in Mascuda, St. Pancratius, Parish in Fayetteville and St. Liberus Parish in St. Labari. Golly, that's a hell of a name right there. Well, I'll just get tongue tied and tongue twisted trying to read it out. Authorities got an online tip about Heckenberger and launched an investigation that included search warrants, online investigation, and surveillance. A search warrant was served Monday morning at the Holy Childhood Rectory. Why they had to be the rectory? You know, I'm. You, do you think they put that in there uh, trying to be funny as trying to... Uh, Play like a metaphor for somebody wrecked them at the rectory. Think about it. Several electronic devices were seized and Heckenberger was arrested. He was found in possession of several I mean, uh, several child porn images and videos that depict children younger than 13, police say. Nasty bastard. 
Heckenbergen also had less than five grams of meth, so he's not only a freak pre preacher, he also a crackhead, a dopehead, a meth head, a smoker, what you call a junkie preacher also. Now, who done anointed him and laid hands on him and done called him to be a preacher? It ain't my, it ain't the Lord I serve. I know that because my God don't want no uh, child molesting nobody that are doing meth and everything else because you, you might come in there and put a curse on somebody. Somebody might come in there and get a spirit off of them and you mess around throw a stronger spirit. That spirit that's inside your crooked ass up in there. And that'd be way worse. Just run and jump, slap out the room, run in front of the car, get killed. You know, so you got to be careful who you uh, let uh, lay hands on you and pray for you also. Now, on Tuesday, Heckenberger was charged with eight counts of dissemination of child pornography, eight counts of possession of child pornography, and one count of possession of methamphetamine. He ended up getting his rocks off and smoking them rocks at the same time. Now, it is unknown if Heckenberger produced any of the images himself. Does it matter? Does it matter? Or if he has had any inappropriate contact with children directly authority said so why are we gonna make excuses for this bastard okay you caught him with with, with pictures of children naked you caught him with, with with meth what more do you want i mean shoot i mean come on that's an open and shut case to me right there ray charles and stevie Wonder could have solved that case now belleville police said parents or guardians should speak to their children if they had any contact with heckenberger and immediately report any suspicious conduct Police said Heckenberger is the only person under investigation at the Holy Childhood because the next preacher around they had probably about 95 years old and he can't do a damn thing if he even if he wanted to. So of course that he gonna be the only one in, under investigation. You know how they have they uh how they have they uh protege up under them. You have the old man, then you have the young preacher, and the young preacher always the one coming in there messing thing up like big ass hurt Heckenberger did up in there. Instead of delivering the word, he delivering the wood. If you know what I mean now. The Diocese of Belleville responded to Heckenberger's arrest in a statement Monday. Mon Monsignor John Mylar, the media contact for the Diocese, emailed a Diocese statement to the Post-Dispatch but was not immediately available after charges were filed Tuesday afternoon. This is a very serious matter for Father Heckenberger. Call him Father. You don't call no man Father but the Father up above. Anyway, the statement from Monday said, at this point, the diocese had no reason to believe that any parishioners are affected by this matter. They're going to do everything to cover up them damn sleaze-ass pastors. Because I believe once you open Pandora's box, all of them going to come out. You're going to have pastors from the east, north, south, east, and west, from coast to coast, falling, falling out, coming out on the news, just getting exposed. It's a reason why they be covering this shit up. Now, the diocese is awaiting an update on information from the civil authorities and has assured them of the of the diocese full cooperation beyond requesting your prayers for father heckenberger the diocese will make no further come in at this time he ain't gonna get no damn prayer for me the only prayer for him is he take his fat ass to jail somewhere and sit on down and uh leave these damn kids alone and hope he getting a cell with big bubba or them husky booger wolves that was in the damn restaurant try to slide them mbt cards getting a cell with three of them and watch they whoop his ass blue black purple now the post dispatch reported in 2011 that heckenberger abruptly took a leave of absence as priest at St. John the Baptist Parish in Smithton. I wonder why he took a leave of absence because you know why? He was getting caught up. He was about to get exposed by somebody back then. A letter circulated by the Bellevue Diocese at the time said he was taken to lead to address very serious personal, pastoral, and legal challenges. Now, when was the last time a good preacher had to face very serious? Okay, you dealing with the devil. I get that. That's very, very serious. You fight the devil in the spirit realm. Okay, I get that. Now, the legal challenges, where they come in at if you're a good preacher? That means you done got your ass in some trouble. That's what the hell that means. Now, the letter sent to priests and deacons didn't directly state the source of the challenges. Myla could not be reached Tuesday to clarify what those challenges were or how they were resolved. Who knows? They got it paid off. That's what happened. They got paid off. It's simple as that. I don't see it's it's something, and I don't want to say too much, but I'm gonna tell you like this. Read between the lines. It's something, some kind of connection this Catholic Church have with government in America. And that's all I'm gonna say. The rest you gotta do your own research on because I like to make you think. I already know the answers. I'm trying to put it out there, but you have to put it in such a way, you know what I'm saying, to keep yourself from getting caught up, you know. But at the same time, Go look at the relationship between the U.S. government and what the Catholic Church has, and then you will have your answer. Now, Heckenberger wrote in a parish bulletin at the time that he was depressed and seeking treatment, according to a 2011 report from the Belleville News Democrat. This 
medicines the doctors have me on make me very tired and some days it is a struggle to just get out of bed that ain't that damn medicine that's that's you jacking off all the time and stuff busting everywhere and then you want to pop some milk that's what got your ass tired then you completely morbidly beast oh wait you know you just like you just morbidly obese so you talking about you tired because of this medicine oh hell no it's the life that you live got you tired now, as a consequence, I don't feel that I am giving you the amount of pastoral care that you deserve, the letter statement. Ooh, how sweet. He got such a wonderful giving heart, don't it? Now, Heckenberger wrote that he was not resigning but taking a leave of absence. If you hear your pastor saying they're taking a leave of absence, they ain't got to call it with somebody else's wife, or they don't got to call it with somebody's child, or they about to get exposed, or one of the side chicks in church might be pregnant from and they trying to go start a new church somewhere else. Now, we all don't heard about them. Now, the uh, Heckenberger said that he told Bishop Edward Braxton, hope they ain't no kin of Tony Braxton them, that I would like to take some time off from my regular priestly duties and find a good counselor or wellness program to join. Heckenberger wrote, he could have he could have contacted me and paid me about thirty thousand to be his damn counselor. I would have counseled his ass. I would have told him just like this: leave them damn kids alone, put that dope down, just say no. You ain't never seen a commercial with uh. McGruff the crime dog, take a bite out of crime and get your life right and turn in your pastor license because you ain't in no kind of capacity or way fit to lead anybody. You're going to lead them people straight to hell. All y'all going to bust hell wide open following these damn people. You better be careful who you follow. Now, Heckenberger was ordained. Heckenberger was ordained in 1996, according to a diocese directory. So he done been our so-called quote unquote ordained going on uh, 22 years. But let me tell you something. What has he done since his ordainship? Got caught up with boys, got caught up with child porn, got busted by the cops with five grams of meth just laying around the church. Why is the hell is five grams of meth laying around the church? That's why I want. The only thing that should be laying around the church is crosses, is Bibles, and some uh some hymns and some grape juice and some crackers. That's all that should be. And I don't mean crackers for a skin color neither. I mean crackers for a saltine. You feel me? That's all that should be laying around a damn church. Anything else is suspect to me. But let me know what you all think about this crazy video. And uh, excuse the sound footage that was uh at the beginning of the video. That wasn't nothing but the devil trying to get in my way. It's funny how when you about to drop some truth, just like you heard that sound, I had my stuff down. I don't know how the volume came up. I don't know who done it or what. But anyway, you know... uh. Let me know what you all think about this situation right here. And if you all got some stories that you want to tell about your no good ass pastors, and I'm not saying all pastors are bad. No, I'm not. He got a couple good ones. I know a couple good ones. But at the same time, hey, it's a lot of them out here that make them make the good ones look just as bad. But anyway, let your boy know what y'all think about that. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like, subscribe. To next time, stay blessed and keep your kids out them confections boots because this goes down. You ain't heard it? I'm out.